Let's do some drywall. Hey YouTubers, do-it-yourselfers. Here's an easy job anyone can do. This is in a bathroom, a backsplash. They removed the backsplash because they're going to put new granite countertops in next week. When they removed the backsplash, they ripped up the sheetrock. So in here, just prep your area, mask the areas, and put down plastic or a tarp. Anything to contain the mess makes it easier when you're finished to clean up. With this patch, I have to cut it out, so I'm using a level. I'm using a one by two piece of wood. You can use anything, a piece of wood, a level, whatever you have as a straight edge. Mark it with a pencil or score it with a razor blade. Get the area nicely cut out. It is a tedious process, but you want to get this area cleaned out and cleaned really good. I'm just cutting it to the angle because there is a stud in the 90 degree angle. Once I get this area all cleaned up, I'm gonna have to add a piece of backing to the right hand side. Always add screws. This is half inch sea rock, so I always use inch and a quarter, inch and a half screws. Always add screws on the outside edge. I'm adding a one by two on the right hand side so I have something to screw the new sheet rock to. Get plenty of screws in, take your measurements. This is just a small ripper piece, a four inch ripper, so I'm just cutting a little piece of drywall, no big deal. Once you get the piece fitted to size, get it in, add some screws. Add plenty of screws, top, bottom, plenty of screws. This keeps the patch from cracking out. Once you get the sheetrock hung, you wanna go through with a six inch knife and scrape the area, get all the boogers off. I'm using a fiberglass mesh tape. I always use fiberglass mesh tape on my drywall repairs. There are paper tapes, but the fiberglass is meant for repair work. It makes it easier. So you just put the fiberglass on, any little holes, anything else, you can put the fiberglass on. Here I'm mixing a five minute quick set mud. There's other quick set muds like a 20 minute, 40 minute, 90 minute, and also the regular joint compounds. I'm using a five minute because it is a small job and I want to get it done in one trip. I'm just putting a first coat, put nice healthy first coat on. I'm just getting it on. I'm not putting on super heavy, filling any little holes. You always wash up your tools right away, right when you're done using them, get them washed up. Use a hose method or you can use a water bucket. While I'm out here, I'm just mixing a little pan of second coat mud while I'm out here. A little thinner than the first coat, you could just dab a little bit of water in to thin it in. Take your wet sponge, this is after the first coat dries, I'm just slicking it out. Slick, slick, slick. You always slick it out, take off the extra mud. This is kind of like a wet sanding technique. This is a technique used with all hot muds. This is a five minute mud, but it's the same with a 20 minute, 40 minute, 90 minute, and a five minute mud. Put a nice healthy second coat on. I'm going past my first coat mud. I'm not putting on super heavy. It's almost like a skim coat. Get everything second coated nicely, nice and perfect. Looks good. Put a second coat on all your little patches. Now the second coat's setting up, same thing as the first coat with the wet sponge and six inch knife. Slick it out, we're taking off the extra mud. It's kind of like a wet sanding technique, but we call it slicking out hot mud. Now it's ready for texture. I'm just using joint compound as fresh box of mud, so I thinned it down with water. You don't want it super thin, you just want it like a thin bread dough. With spray knockdowns, you don't want to make them too thin, you just need them thick, thick, thick. Clean up your tools as you go. It's always clean and go. This is a spray hopper. I'm just putting a couple scoops in it as just a small patch, so no need to get a lot of mud. Spray hopper. Spray hopper, just spraying it heavy. Nice, consistent patterns. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Cross it off, cross it off. Take your masking off, and now I'm gonna knock it down. Always use a clean six and a sponge and just trowel it down lightly. I'm not pushing down, the knife is just gliding over it. This is a knockdown technique. Most jobs have different textures, but this is the knockdown technique we do. Once you get this area all knocked down, all you have to do is just let it dry for 24 hours, and then you can turn around lightly sand it with 150 grit or a sanding sponge, primer, and then paint. Simple process with the spray knockdown. As you can see on these little patches, just spraying it, spraying it, and just knocking it down lightly. Clean six inch knife, knock down lightly. That's it. Easy, 